Welcome to my channel guys, my name is Maria Anderson. We talk about crypto, money and investments here, so please subscribe if you haven't yet. Today we'll talk about Bitcoin fundamentals and if you're new to crypto, this video is for you, enjoy! And let's start with Bitcoin history just real quick. Bitcoin was created in 2009 by an unknown person or a group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. The main motivation behind the creation of Bitcoin was to provide a decentralized alternative to the traditional financial system and eliminate the need for intermediaries such as banks. We all don't like banks, right guys? Now you're ready to hear about Bitcoin economics. So Bitcoin operates on a fixed supply model with a total of 21 million coins that will ever be in circulation. This supply is programmed to decrease over time as the number of bitcoins in circulation increases, which will eventually lead to a decrease in the rate of new bitcoins being created. This scarcity is one of the key features of bitcoin and contributes to its perceived value. So what's the technology behind bitcoin? Bitcoin runs on a decentralized ledger called the blockchain, which records all transactions made on the network. The blockchain is maintained by a network of computers or nodes that all have a copy of the same database. This allows for trustless transactions as every node has a record of every transaction made on the network, making it near impossible to alter or manipulate past records. That's why Bitcoin can't be hacked, guys. Being decentralized means that no single entity or organization controls the Bitcoin network. Transactions on the network are processed and verified by a network of computers around the world, making it resistant to manipulation or censorship by any single entity. Instead of having a central authority like a government or bank to regulate it, the rules for the Bitcoin network are encoded into open source software that is maintained by a decentralized community of developers and users. When a user wants to send Bitcoin, they broadcast a transaction to the network. This transaction includes the sender's public address, the recipient's public address, and the amount of Bitcoin being sent. The transaction is verified by nodes on the network and then added to the blockchain. Once a user has received Bitcoin, they need a place to store it. This is done through a Bitcoin wallet, which is a software that allows the user to send and receive Bitcoin. The wallet contains a private key, which is a secret number used to access the user's Bitcoin. It's important to keep this private key safe, as it's the only way to access your Bitcoin. If you will ever lose your private key, you will lose your Bitcoin. The best way to store your Bitcoin is a cold wallet, or we also call it a hardware wallet. And there is a lot of cold wallets made by different companies. Check out my playlist called Hardware Wallets Unboxing. I unboxed and reviewed almost every hardware wallet existing now on the market. So how Bitcoin mining works and who are those miners? The process of verifying transactions and adding them to the blockchain is called mining. Miners compete to solve complex mathematical problems, and the first one to solve the problem adds the block of transactions to the blockchain and receives a reward in the form of new bitcoins. This reward incentivizes miners to secure the network and keep the blockchain accurate. Bitcoin is a new revolutionary technology that offers a new way to transfer value without need of any third party, like a bank. And also Bitcoin allows you to store your wealth without any third party. So your wealth, your funds will never be blocked or banned despite anything. Bitcoin is still a relatively new technology, but it has already disrupted the financial industry and has the potential to completely change the way we think about money. And that's all for today, guys. I hope this video was useful for you, so please hit that like if yes. 